I want to remind our viewers about what happened in March uh, 2020 in Delhi when some orphans were found at a masjid run by the Tablighi Jamaat. At that time, a case of culpable homicide was filed against Maulana Saad Khandalvi and six, others, six other leaders of the Tablighi Jamaat because there were kids in that orphanage who were violating a COVID ban, a COVID protocol. That's it. Nobody had died. Nothing else had gone wrong. I mean, there weren't 121 people who were killed. And yet a case of uh, culpable homicide was filed against Maulana Saad Khandalvi, who actually headed uh, the Tablighi Jamaat. He later wasn't charged. It's a different matter, but a case was filed against him. Now, in this instance, this Baba is not named in the FIR. The police so far officially says they don't know where he is. He hasn't been questioned. He's far from being arrested. They're saying just acting against the Sevedars is enough. Is that really the case? Or is the UP police and the UP government totally wrong in giving this Baba such a long rope? Joining me on the broadcast, I want to welcome first Dr. Vikram Singh, former Director General of Police in Uttar Pradesh. Welcome, sir. With us from the ruling BJP is Kaushal Mishra, party spokesperson in Uttar Pradesh. Squaring off against him, we have Ghansham Tiwari of the Samajwadi Party, Pankhuri Pathak, now with the Congress. And uh, from medical perspective on the psyche of these uh, devotees who were running after the cavalcade because they wanted some of the dust the, that had been left behind as the Baba's cavalcade went past. They wanted uh, just to be able to pick up some of the mud from where the Baba had stood, his car had gone by. What does that reveal of the mindset of these devotees? So we've got Nimish Desai who will talk us through that. But I want to go across to Vikram Singh first. Dr. Vikram Singh, you've let the Uttar Pradesh police, do you think they're so incompetent that 78 hours later, they don't even know where this Bhole Baba is? Do you buy that theory? Or do you think the UP police is just choosing to look the other way? Good evening, Rahul ji and all the esteemed panelists. The UP police has had a glorious past, the largest police force in the world. And it has given an excellent account of itself in the assembly, parliament elections, Kavar Mela, and other festivals like Muharram, etc. It's like topping the MSc examination, but failing in the class two examination and the kindergarten examination. I really fail to understand. You have to try very hard to bungle up in this manner and to be caught on the wrong foot multiple times. Every single clause of the rule book flouted, no application behind, mechanically accepting everything what the Sevadas wanted to do. Are you supposed to eat out of the hands of the Sevadas and swallow hook, line and sinker, whatever they offer you? I beg to be different, Rahulji. I had expected a lot better. I had expected a lot better because it was an unmitigated disaster from day one itself. But the very fact that the application was exceeded without taking recourse to the study of the local intelligence unit records, the Thana Festival Register records, and also the past antecedents and the dubious background of this so-called self-styled godman, if that had been taken... No, so let's take it one by one. Let's unpack it in bits. Should an FIR that was filed have had a prominent mention of Bhole Baba. Six uh, Sevadars have been mentioned. They're the ones the UP police is gunning after. Is that enough? Or do you think that's a dead giveaway that they're trying to protect this man? Common sense says, Rahulji, did it belong to the Sevadars were yours or mine? Whose employees were they? They were obviously the Babas and therefore the Babaji is the origin of the entire scandal. And if the Sevadars are named, the natural corollary is that the Baba should also have been named. Well, if it's not been named, the legally speaking, you can bring him into light and follow up the investigation. But if nothing happens by way of punitive and penal action against the Baba, and no reward is announced, he's not declared a proclaimed offender, no action against the district authorities, well, I have my own reservations, and nothing shocks and surprises me any longer. What action should be taken against him? If you were DGP at this time, under the rule book, what do you think the Baba is guilty of? This permission should never have been given. And if this has happened, and this has been done in the past also, we'll get after the jugulars of everyone who has bungled up and lost 124 lives. Number one, immediate suspension of the DM and the SP. And if I are lost to be investigated by the UPSTF, a reward of five lakhs each on all the perpetrators, including the Baba, dedicated teams to bring him back and put him behind bars, invoke the provisions of NSA, attach all his property, movable and immovable, in the state and elsewhere. 
so that he uh, the jolly well grovels to the dust and surrenders himself if the STF does not get him. And I can tell you, he cannot go underground. The moment you start attaching his property, in, in any case, is ill-gotten wealth. And also, put a reward of 5 lakhs, rest assured, his entire edifice is like a house of cards, will crumble down. Kaushal Mishra, you like to project the UP government as being an efficient, decisive, firm government. I mean, this is where you need to be decisive. Your police hasn't named this Baba in the FIR. No investigation has been launched into his empire. None of his properties have been seized. Why is that the case? Uh, good evening, Rahul and co-panelists. Uh, it's very serious uh, um, uh, incidents and unfortunate incidents. Uh, nobody can protect it. As Mr. Vikram Singh has already mentioned, there are multiple lapses. And I also feel there are multiple lapses. There must be... Uh, so that's a rhetorical answer to a very specific question. Why is Bhole Baba not named in the UP police's FIR? Uh, Rahul, this is a technical question. I cannot answer. Our CM Sasar has already said that if the ambit of FIR will extend and exceed, and this fraud, Bhole Baba or Baba will be behind the bar as soon as possible. It is totally dependent on competence of our UP police, which we are having full No, but he's not even named in the FIR. It's not a technical question. It's a question of whether you want to act against him or not. You haven't Rahul, found uh, him. Are you so incompetent that in say, 80 hours Rahul, you can't find where this man is? Rahul, I also agree that his name should also be in FIR. But it is unfortunate that name is not there. And that is why Chief Minister himself came out and he said that in the near future, his name will also be get included as per law. We are not protecting Why have you not and announced an investigation into his properties, into how did this man who was a police constable end up with a 100 crore rupee empire? Is that worthy of investigation or not? Yes, it is a worthy of investigation. So why have you not Everything lodged is... the probe? Where are your bulldozers now? Why are the bulldozers is... not at the Mainpuri Ashram? Rahul, Rahul, if anything illegal and... Uh, Sir, but you aren't uh... even probing it yet. You haven't launched any investigation into his empire. Uh... Rahul, Rahul, I am not investigating agency, so I cannot set what uh, to whom investigation has been launched or not launched. So I am saying the government, uh, my uh, party's perspective that everybody who is behind this this uh, this worse uh, uh, episode, they will behind the bar. And this fraud, Bole Baba, fraud, Bole Baba. You are saying nah, no political party is naming this Bole Baba. I am saying this fraud, dirty Bole Baba. If he is a criminal, he will be behind the bar. I am saying clearly, whatever caste he may belong to, whatever creed he may belong to, whatever religion he may belong to, if he is guilty, he will be behind the bar and law will take its own course. Sir, are you going slow because he comes from the same faith as that no, no, of the no, no, party no, 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 in no, power? No, no, no. Had this no. happened at a place like the tablik e jamaad where the violation was that during COVID, COVID protocol wasn't followed, at that time, a case of culpable homicide was registered against the man who was in charge of uh, that madrasa. Uh, who was in charge of the madrasa? Uh, Rahul, that COVID was such an emergency situation uh, where whole society was at risk. That is a very separate situation than this situation. This is unfortunate accident. It should not happen. And Baba's name should uh, should be in the fire. But I am promising and I am saying clearly. This Baba, this fraud Bole Baba will be behind the bar soon. Okay, you are calling him a fraud, illegal... which is interesting because Ganshyam Tiwari's party, the Samajwadi party, when Akhilesh was asked this question, he snapped at the journalist saying, you guys are BJP agents. Now, is it because this Bole Baba comes from the Jatav community, which is a Dalit the largest Dalit community in Uttar Pradesh, typically seen as voters of Benji Mayawati, because of the decline of the BSP, that vote share now up for grabs. A part of that vote share came towards the India Alliance, the Congress and the SP benefited from it, which is why Gansham Tiwari, you aren't even willing to call him a charlatan or a fraud, which is why when your leaders ask these questions, he says, don't ask me these questions. Good evening, Rahul, to you, my fellow co-panelists and, and the viewers. There are three important things. For seven years, I, as spokesperson of Samajwadi Party, has been bombarded with questions about Yogi Baba. If there is a party that systematically builds Baba Dumb and systematically builds Samagams of Baba, I quote India Today website, uh, 21st April, ki Bhajpa at Delhi Indoor Stadium, Indra Gandhi Indoor Stadium, did a Samagam of, of uh, Sadhu Sant 
and it was uh, for political purpose several leaders attended you aren't answering my question ganjam tiwari again a rhetorical response you. my question is block. no once again sir kaushal mishra of the bjp says clearly that bhole baba is a fraud i'm asking you does the samajwadi party ganjam tiwari think that bhole baba is a fraud or not i'm answering in very simple terms the whether bhole baba is fraud or not whether yogi adityanath is sant or not it is not your view point or my view point there are cases registered against people who commit fraud and and build mistrust and build superstition among people yogi adityanath himself had cases registered before the media started calling him yogi baba who, who with magical wand will transform uttar pradesh and bjp has should should bhole baba's name have been, been there want, in the fir you or want, not you are trying you to politicize you know sir sir you're you politicizing you no because, because gansham tiwari i'm asking you specific questions and i'm pained by the fact that you are giving political and not direct answers should bhole baba have been named in the fir or not simple question is it, is, give me a straight is answer it a, is, it, is it a question of pu public uh, a popularity poll there is a administration the chief minister went there the dgp went there the deputy chief minister went there the chief secretary went there did any one of them said that they they want to file fir what is bjp saying in this entire thing there are three things the chief minister has said one instead of saying as uh, uh, dgp vikram singh has written even in indian express this complete failure of administration instead of saying that the chief minister said it's a conspiracy what is what the hell is he talking about when re uh, rescue operations are not available the administration is not alert there's no electricity sir again you have chosen not to answer my question ganjam tiwari oh, i'm asking a straight are, question are, should bhole baba saying, have been named in the fir or not answer my straight is question is it, is it, why are you protecting him is it my responsibility is it public demand is it the responsibility of the chief minister is it an anarchy that on television on india today that we will decide whether somebody should be in fir or not the entire Sir, administration is 121 is there. people it, it, die it, it, on somebody's watch the man is not named in the fir and the samajwadi party can't say straight up that the man should be named in the fir what's going on here no, i'm i'm saying the chief minister cannot say the man should be in fir i'm saying the dgp cannot say the man should be in fir i'm saying that the chief secretary cannot say the man should be in fir why is that so is it on public demand why are you putting the blame on them i'm asking them the question that need to be asked i'm asking you as the spokesperson of the samajwadi party should this bhole baba character be named in the fir or not do you think by now he should have been arrested or not 121 people at least died at his satsang it is absolutely shocking and bizarre that this man is not even questioned so far the up police with vikram singh he has said is the largest police in the world cannot even trace him forget mentioning the the word fir the entire up administration is also not ready to name him so you are asking me you should ask bjp about that i asked them before i came to you i'm wondering why is your leader snapping when questions are asked about bhole baba is it because one part of the jatav community voted for you and the india alliance in this election which is why you don't want to irk somebody who's seen as their leader and uh, part of the community looks up to this snapping. guy he is snapping because for 7 years the media has pre presented yogi adityanath ji as a saint who will transform uttar pradesh there is one baba versus serious? another the when you start when you start i have serious uh, objection uh, against this rahul please followership to television rahul, propaganda on baba then it is it is worthy to snap and ask back the question rahul, what made yogi adityanath the saint rahul Why this is not the about yogi adityanath being a saint rahul, or not rahul, being a saint that's not the point rahul, over here kaushal wants point. to make a very quick response have, very quick rahul, interjection before i go to the other guest kaushal go rahul, for it Ra rahul it is a very serious thing that he is comparing the bhole baba fraud bhole baba who is doing the cheap dirty things com comparing with the chief minister of uttar pradesh this is shameful this is shameful that he is has no courage to say anything against bhole baba because akhilesh yadav himself was sitting in his own uh, programs and chanting for him so that is why they are doing the vote bank politics be 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 sure rahul if he is guilty he will be behind the bar all the property will be demolished if it is illegal i promise you but i am very shocked and certain that the, the cheap politics is still going on okay back you know i want to leave politics on the side let's just focus anything. on this case i won't get a quick response from pankuri pathak of the congress rahul gandhi said compensation is not enough do you think by now this bhole baba character should have been arrested well i think it is uh, there is no question of him not being arrested and it is clear as day that this government the bjp government the government of yogi adityanath is trying their best to protect him let us understand it's just not the police that is you know giving him a long rope the chief minister of the state is also the home minister the police works directly under him 
and if the chief minister would have wanted he could have directed that the bhole baba the so called bhole baba should be named in the fir but i think you know just for for a minute we should look at the plight of these people who have suffered who have lost their loved ones let us look at their condition they have lost their family members somebody has lost a wife somebody has lost a child somebody has lost a mother and they are being told that you will not get justice this is what the government is telling them by not naming this godman this so called godman in the fir and also not holding uh, the administration accountable because this is just not fault of one person it's a man made and up government administration okay. made tragedy so we have vidushi jaya bharti so with us on this people. broadcast she is a scholar of religion and her point of view is it's not right to name the baba or to blame the baba why do you feel that 121 people died on this bhole baba's watch he didn't bother to come back after the deaths to see and supervise what went wrong try and ensure that medical help and succor was given to them he just fled he is not in sight right now he is clearly running away why do you think he is not to blame jaya i don't say at all that he is not to be blamed i never said that and i think it will be wrong to quote me that way one thing another thing is i think it's more that uh, than meets the eye here everybody not only the baba everybody who had failed to ensure the adequate uh, ad, you know safety measures should be booked whether it is the you know i it was uh, you know this is horrendous it was i i was really a uh, shock to know that the only permissible limit that has was allowed was 80000 and more than 2.5 lakh people were gathered and where was the administration where was the liu people everybody i'm asking you a simple ensure. question jaya ji is the yeah. baba to blame as well or not obviously he is not the only one to blame no. is he also Come to again. blame or not Come should again. Yeah. should bole baba be arrested for his role in the death of these 121 plus people bole baba should be arrested if he is the part of the organizing committee or the people who have organized the event should be arrested if he is only a speaker no, why should only know those what is going on the ground why should only those who organize the event i mean it's happening in if his he, name it's happening for so him when when there is a, a fire moment, at a cinema a when there is a fire a at a cinema if, hall in delhi your, the management is held responsible they are sent they they are prosecuted he, for their every, for their involvement they weren't even there baba i not only bhole baba everybody who is responsible should be booked if today you organize an event rahul and you invite me to speak and something goes wrong i don't know what have you organized or what have you ensured i came i spoke i went and if some with the people who are not ensuring the adequate security measures over there they are to be blamed but it's I not came, so I simple that he came he spoke he went it's thing. his Now event can... it is his event ma'am it's not like he's invited as a guest to somebody else's event it's his event it's his event then he should be booked absolutely i'm for it i'm not objecting to it i who said that i'm not for it absolutely somebody who is heading an institution and if they are organizing and even under in the his banner and he cannot ensure that his people are making sure that everybody comes and goes back say absolutely he should be booked there is no recourse for him dr nimish desai you know you understand social psyche now these people he he gets you to keep your phones away and i find that very suspicious why would people have to leave their phones away second you know these poor largely illiterate people running towards him trying to get hold of the soil on which he walked paon ki dhool chahiye unko thodi si and that's what causes this uh, stampede what do you make of the mental makeup of his followers and of this so called bhole baba dr desai rahul if i could get your question correctly Uh, what what this uh, cults do is essentially meet the uh, psychological and the psychiatric mental health needs of the society in transitional societies in societies with this quiet it only happens at a much more rapid pace and a deeper pace, uh, pace. Uh, but essentially it's the unmet psychiatric and psychological need the distress the need for depending on while organized religion has its own perils this cults have serious problems unless they are regulated no so why do you think he was able to amass the kind of following that he was his following is largely amongst the jatav dalits some of the backward obc communities 
he's able to get this big following which is why leaders like akhilesh yadav are wary of attacking him directly they're saying okay administration ka kaam hai let them do their job we don't want to go and publicly attack him how do you think you know an ex police constable is able to build up this kind of a following the the dissatisfactions with life the need for looking for an anchor to find easy solutions and so less as simple as that and uh, in the us this cults have been studied quite a bit in depth and these are the two factors that really seem to matter dr vikram singh we spoken about the bhole baba i want to speak about the role of the local police the superintendent of police the local police force the district administration who you know now the two ways of looking at it one that these there are functions like this a dime a dozen in different parts of india every day now one of them has this terrible tragedy there are those who support bhole baba who say this is not this is not deliberate it's just terrible that it happened but it's an accident what do you think is the role of the district administration and the local state police which wasn't done the way it should have been which led to this kind of a uh, stampede given the reality that these mass gatherings happen in different parts of india and you never know where there'll be a tragedy of this kind rahul ji it would be too simplistic for us to believe that it is just happened it was an accident and it should be swept under the the carpet what are we being paid for when i say we i mean the bureaucracy the magistracy and the police one number two every district in the country has what is known as antarik suraksha yogna internal security scheme which caters to every such contingency and mass movement of people that is why the police bandobast is there the indian police of 81 say 1861 catered to this and to this day we have management and today we have the drone technology we also have ai enabled systems that tell us what will be the probability of the people collecting there and to say that it was an accident and we should wash our hands of the case is just not acceptable at all to the contrary there was no rehearsal of the internal security scheme then the flaws and the omissions that came to light and also re-rehearsed it is not that you just write off after single rehearsal you do the rehearsal till it's repetition internalization till it becomes a habit that should become a reflex act of the district administration that you are able to gauge the mood and the tenor as they say in hindi हम चेहरा पढ़ लेते हैं कि आपके मन में चल क्या रहा है आप कहीं ऐसा तो नहीं कि कहीं पे निगाहें कहीं पे निशाना वेल दैट इज वॉट द कलुकुल पुलिस लैंग्वेज सेज एंड यू शुड बी फुल्ली अवेयर नथिंग शुड बी टेकन बाय सर नथिंग हैज सरप्राइज मी 36 इयर्स एवर बिकॉज आई नो व्हाट्स हैपनिंग एंड आई कैन सी इन द होराइजन व्हाट इज बिल्डिंग अप दैट इज वॉट द डीएम एंड द एसपी आर ट्रेन फॉर एंड नॉट टू डू दैट एंड टू बी ऑब्लीवियस टू द ग्राउंड रियलिटी व्हेन रोम वाज बर्निंग यू आर प्लेइंग द फ्लू as simple as that yes, and definitely. i feel there should be consequences the dm and dsp are the most highly paid officers in the district and nothing should go unnoticed by their careful and skillful eyes what action should be taken against them in your view administrative serious and long term and serious departmental action and this has happened in the past there is nothing that i can recommend what has been done in the past in such tragedies major departmental action and penalties Okay, so Bhole Baba is actually not that Bhola. Skeletons are tumbling out of the cell style Godman's closet. There was an FIR filed against him in Agra after he failed to revive a dead girl like he promised. He's also been accused in the past of sexual harassment. Here's more about the dubious past of Suraj Pal, aka Bhole Baba. <laughs> सूरज पाल नारायण साकार हरी और भोले बाबा टू हिज फॉलोअर्स हैज अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ लीगल ट्रबल्स ही वॉज अरेस्टेड इन द इयर 2000 थाउजेंड फ्रॉम आगरा अलॉन्ग विथ सिक्स अदर्स सूरज पाल वॉज चार्ज अंडर द ड्रग्स एंड मैजिक रेमिडीज एक्ट फॉर क्लेमिंग टू रिवाइव अ डेड गर्ल हु वॉज सफरिंग फ्रॉम कैंसर According to the FIR his followers created a ruckus at the cremation ground and claimed that Baba would cure the child However Baba and six of his followers were acquitted due to lack of evidence Suraj Pal's alleged links with the paper leak kingpin have also been unearthed He used to hold satsang twice or thrice yearly at the house of the kingpin of the junior engineer paper leak case in Rajasthan's Dosa Rajasthan paper leak case accused 
Harshwardhan Patwari and his family were ardent disciples of the Bhole Baba. Patwari was arrested by the Rajasthan police in Feb this year. This house, as per information, belongs to uh, one Harshwardhan Patwari who is considered to be the main accused in the JEN paper leak case. Uh, you can see the tents that are there. Uh, these are the tents uh, below which uh, the uh, disciples of Narayan Sakar Hari used to gather uh, to take part in the satsang programs that were being conducted at this premises. Harshwardhan Patwari ka kya unse koi purana connection tha? हाँ लगभग ऐसा ही बताया जाता है यहाँ जैसे कि उनकी जो घरवाले थे वो बताते थे कि जब से हमने बाबा से संपर्क किया है तब से हमारी जिंदगी बदल गई है यहाँ कई की भ्रांतियाँ हैं कि भाई वर्धन के परिवार के लोग उनके अनुयायी उनके भक्त थे हाँ जी बिल्कुल और कईयों की ये भी है कि अलमारी में एक दिन पहले हमने एक लाख रुपये रखे पैसे नहीं थे बात देने के लिए फिर छः लाख हो गए दूसरे दिन फिर हम बात देखे आए ग्यारह लाख का तो ये भी था कि भाई बाबा ने पैसे रात में कर दिए जादू से तो यहाँ इस तरह की भ्रांतियाँ फैलाई गई थी Despite multiple cases filed against him in various jurisdictions in Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan, Suraj Pal continues to command a considerable following, drawn to his promises of spiritual enlightenment and blessings. Satsang me jaane wali atmaye unhone galti ki. Baba ji ne to koi galti ki nahi. Charan chhune ke liye bhage pru charne chhuate. परमात्मा जिम्मेदार नहीं है वहाँ की प्रशासन तो दिख ही नहीं है दूसरी बात वहाँ के हमने मोबाइल के माध्यम से देखा एक बहन बता रहे थे दो व्यक्ति अध्यक्ष दिलोबर पहनते हुए थे नए लड़के थे अट्टे कट्टे उन्होंने धक्का दिया है तो उसी में सब लोग बहने बाकी गिर पड़े एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इस क्लाउड वॉज द सत्संग इन हाथरस अटेंडेड बाई ओवर टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड पीपल ओवर वन ट्वेंटी पीपल वर किल्ड after the stampede at the event venue with Samarth Srivastav, Arvind Ojha and Devankar. Bureau Report, India Today. We'll continue to push our reportage hard on the Hathras horror. 121 people at least dead. And so far, this Baba hasn't been found. He's not been questioned, far from being arrested. No one asking for his arrest. No one sending bulldozers to his ashrams. None of his property being confiscated. What in the world's going on? Why is uh, the UP administration and police not coming down hard on this Bhole Baba? We'll track this story.